Hi, I'm Anna. I'm the children's librarian at the Goldsboro Library. And I just wanted to share um, a couple tips with uh, for parents of children who are very small um, about playing pretend and using your imagination and how these things can help develop your child's literacy skills. So playing pretend is really important um, and it's really fun. So there's a couple of things that parents can do to support their child's imagination. Um, and the first thing about playing pretend and using your imagination that is important is that it provides context for language um, and can kind of help your child structure their play. So if they're pretending to be a teacher or something, it gives them kind of words that they can use. It gives them a way to, you know, act and to arrange their toys around them. So it's kind of a way to kind of set up a living story. Um, so when you read books and then they act them out, it kind of makes the story come to life for them. So these squiggles on the page um, actually mean something and they're acting it out and it becomes more real to them. So um, there's different kinds of print materials and so these um, come into play in a couple of different ways. So functional print are things like menus and coupons and newspapers. So they're a little bit different than books. So we read books to our kids, but um, menus, you read them, but you read them for a purpose. You don't read them like for fun. Well, I guess you could, but <laughs> uh, <laughs> coupons, you use them in a certain place. Newspapers, you read them to find out news and things that are going on. Um, and you read them differently than you would if you sat down to read a book. You don't sit down to read coupons. Um, but if you if your children see you using these kinds of print materials versus um, watching you read a book, they learn how different kinds of print are used for different things in life. Um, but if you let your child have access to like, newspapers and menus, they can make up stories. So, what's on the menu today? What are we going to cook? I'm pretending to be a chef. Here's what I'm putting on my menu. Um, what's in the news? What's happening in our house today that we can make up a story about? So you can kind of use functional print to um, be used as a springboard for more imaginative play. Um, acting out stories is really fun. So if you read a story before bedtime, maybe the next day you can act it out. And um, acting out stories that you've read helps your children work on their comprehension skills and their recall, which is really great. Um, Another thing that is really easy to do is kind of observe what your children like to do. And um, Montessori people are really into this, but if you observe the things that your children are um, practicing and doing over and over, or if they are playing and really acting out certain things, you can support that by providing books on that topic. So if your child really likes to pretend that they're a doctor, or they're taking care of an animal, or if they are pretending to be a teacher, you can provide books on those topics so your child can learn more about that and have even more words to use when they're playing um, and have more opportunities to make things up. So if you are pretending to be a teacher and then you learn about, oh, this is chalk, this is a chalkboard, I can pretend to do this. This may be something I've never known about before. Um, you can do that. Um, also, if you are playing pretend, a lot of times you have something and you pretend it's something else. So this blanket, I'm pretending that it's an ocean. Or this remote control, I'm pretending that it's, I don't know, a phone or something like that. So this kind of imaginative play helps your children learn about symbols, which is really important when developing literacy skills because letters and numbers are symbols. So this thing being something else and having a meaning other than just being a thing um, is really important to help them learn how to read later on. Um, role play, like we said, is really important. So if you're supporting your child, seeing what they're really into, providing books, providing new words so they can expand their imaginative play, um, another thing that you can do is just give them lots of words. So if you're playing teacher, you can say, oh, well, here are some words we can use and learn about. So students, classroom, whiteboard, blackboard, chalk, um, markers, desks, all of these things that are related to a classroom and being a teacher, 
Maybe your child may not have seen them before because they may be too young to go to school. But once they have those words and kind of know what they are, they can pretend even more things and grow their vocabulary. If you've never heard a word or never seen it written down, you won't know what it is. So all we want to do is support our children, help them grow their vocabularies and make connections with things in their world, understand that symbols, something could be something else. All of this is related to literacy in some way or the other. So imaginative play is super important for literacy, but it's also fun. So the big part is just have fun. All right. See y'all later.